Back at y'all with another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about three really cool things you can print on your 3D printer, no matter the size, no matter the time, today. Hey guys, my name is Anton. I do content on all things 3D. And if you enjoy 3D printing content, or want to see tutorials on how to do 3D printing stuff, or just want to watch me make really cool models like this guy right here, hit the sub button down below. Great content, you won't regret it, I promise. So, uh, I got three little models that are super easy and quick to print, and I just wanted to share them with you guys. Of, hey, you got under three? Or maybe you have all the way the CR-10S Max or something like that. You can do these prints on your printer. It takes only a couple hours. They're really fun and they're very useful. So let's get into it. The first one. Now, I know you guys probably can't see it from this camera angle, so I'm gonna have a closer up. But what this guy is, is a little uh, tinker box of sorts, right? And this was back in the day, very, very popular, went off from Kickstarter, but they went for like a good amount of money. It was a surprising, I mean, I think I saw some for over 30 bucks and I was kind of surprised. But yeah, you could just mess around with it. You could, you know, play with all the size of this thing. I was surprised actually, it does spin very well um, when I printed it and just, clipped it inside. Um, the side part with the two number here, it it works, but it's a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. And I wanna be honest with you guys with these 3D prints. Um, this I don't think this was actually a knock on my 3D printing. It's just how the model is, but it, it does work. Uh, it's kind of cool. And you just got these sides to just mess around with, I guess. And my, my favorite is definitely the spinner. Um, but the clicker is pretty good too. And uh, the way that I printed for mine, it actually does have the satisfying uh, click of a light switch. So. Either I got lucky or the model's done pretty well. So yeah, if uh, you want to get one of these fidget cubes, don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, this takes like literally an hour to print. It's very simple, it doesn't take any filament. It's just a fun, cool kind of thing. All right, next one, number two. Um, this, this is a lot more useful. I'm huge into cable management and just organization. I like my stuff clean and organized. And this little guy takes, again, Couple hours of printing max, barely any filament, and there you go, a cable management thing. Very useful, very nice, and it, what's nice about it is it fits any sizes of cables for this model. By the way, all these model links are gonna be in the description. I got you guys covered, always. Um, you could fit thicker wires through this cable management holder, which is why I liked it, because today I may be using it for an iPhone charger, tomorrow I might wanna use it for an HDMI cable, and believe it or not, it probably will work. Um, HDMI cable several rounds will be a little tight though. Um, but yeah, it, it's fun, cool little 3D print that's very useful and awesome. And I thought, hey, I think a lot of people can use cable management in their lives, so there you go. Last but not least, I think this one's useful and it's cool looking. I love the design. What it is is, if you couldn't tell, a battery holder, right? So, uh, see it up close there. You Stick a whole bunch of batteries, and the nice thing is it's got the logo, right? So it says A2 because these are A2 size batteries. Um, the nice thing about it is the modeler in the link description has uh, AAA batteries and C size batteries even, and the models for them. So you could have three or four of these guys built up, nicely organized your batteries. I really struggle with organizing batteries, and this is kind of almost a pretty way to display batteries. I never thought that it would be elegant way to display batteries but there you have it and it's just two little parts what's really nice is as you can see on the back here there's some uh, hinges that he's designed so you could actually mount these on a wall or side of a desk or something as long as you have something sticking out of it which is pretty great and i just like the mechanism of how uh the batteries just you know slide out i will tell you though and you can see that it, it struggles a little bit to push out the battery there uh, for the next one, and that may be my fault. Um, the, by the way, the prints came out very, very well. Really fine tuned this guy, um, but I think I just need to clean off some supports under here and they'll fly out, but that's my issue with it. But again, really nice, and this holds a decent amount of batteries. I think this is uh, easily about probably 14, 16 batteries you could stick in here for A2, double uh, A, I should say. But yeah, they have all of them. That's it for this video. Just a fun one. Take a breather, sidestep a little bit, talk about some fun stuff that I just wanted something that everyone could print. Let me know what you guys think. If you have really cool, fun models you want to share with other people, throw them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, smash thumbs up. 
of course subscribe if you want more of this kind of content and uh, check out our discord and if you want to join a community of fun 3d printers just talk to her or share some other cool models that'd be awesome many of you guys have been sending me yours and posting some there so that's been awesome to see i appreciate you guys engaging with that um by the way i'm not giving up on this guy by any means it's just i don't know if you saw on the instagram the news moving studios and all of that and kind of my tools and everything is a little bit disfigured it's difficult to put my full time and effort on this guy so in next month or so i'm gonna be in the process of moving and then we will go heads down on this project of iron man and hopefully finish him uh very very quickly and very very well really excited to get to the electronics and all that a lot of cool stuff planning in the future many partnerships and all of that by the way if you're looking for a 3d printer out there uh check some descriptions down below uh gearbest has some cool sales and direct drives and i actually kind of want to grab one of those myself uh, but yeah we're going to be doing some uh, partnerships with several different people so if you see some of those what if you click on those links buy something i get a slight commission you support the channel i do even better content for you guys and in the future giveaways and such so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, and I guess I'll see you in the next one.